let's see how to use can settings in control center 4 so open the control center 4 from brother utilities so in the control center 4 you can edit scan settings in in two ways one is under scan settings and another one is under device settings so the both are giving the same options to edit your scanning the only difference is you can select the image ocr email and file separately when it comes to device settings you will see all the options in one dialog box otherwise the controls are same in all options so let's see the controls one by one so the first one is file type you can select the file type here so the file type is used to save the scanned document here you can select the quality if you want a high quality image then you can drag the slider to right Next option is target application. So target application is the application which is used to open your saved document. So if you click on the drop down box, you will see the list of applications which is available in your PC. You can select the application which is used to open your scanned document. Then here it is the file name. Uh, if you want to change the file name then you can uh, click on change button and you can change the file name style here currently it is in name and counter if you want to change it to the date name counter then you can click on this now you can see the date and this is the timestamp then name and the counter so if you want to change the name you can edit the name here if you edit the name it will be reflected here automatically then if you want to change the date format then you can select the date format from here and if you want to remove timestamp then you can simply unmark the checkbox here or if you want to include the timestamp then mark the checkbox when it comes to counter so the continuous has six digits by default if you want to change the digits in counter then enable the option reset after each job then you can change the counter here so if you choose three here then you will see there is only three digits here then leave initial value as one so i am going to oh, you continuous here and click ok the next control is destination folder so the this is the file path where your scan document will be saved if you want to change the file path then you can click on this small folder icon to change the file path so here you can select your where you want to save your scanned document here i'm going to select desktop and click ok now you can see the file path change here the next option is resolution so you can change the resolution here so the default resolution is 300 into 300 dpi the next control is scan type so where you can control whether you want to have the scanned document in black and white or color so you can select the option which you want here the document size so the most of the time the document size would be a4 so if you want to scan an id card then you can enable this checkbox otherwise leave as it is and leave bright and contrast as it is now go to advanced settings where if you want to skip the blank page while scanning document you can mark the checkbox here and click ok click ok to scan the document